Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're out at the Mopar Happening, and I'm here with Neil. Neil, what's your last name? Whitey King. Whitey King, and uh, we're having a good time out here. It's really hot, by the way. It's, I think, a 100 plus wind <laughs> or, uh, heat factor or something. But speaking of hot, Neil's got a hot car. Neil, let me grab the camera. What did you bring here today? It's a 1970 Moulin Rouge Plymouth AAR Cuda. Numbers matching motor and trans. Much, much NOS parts on there that we've collected over the years just to put them back to factory specs. And out of all the cars in the world, how'd you end up with a Moulin Rouge AAR Cuda? Well, a friend had it for sale and it was in rough condition because it had been drag raced, etc. Yeah. And he bought it because the gentleman had passed away. Yeah. And his widow decided to sell it, so we ended up with it. Yeah and restart it from that point. And again, it's all matching numbers. Let's after. take a look at it. Come on with me. Sure. Stand right next to me. And this catches your attention. Now, Moulin Rouge is the Plymouth color. What do they call this color if it was a Dodge? Panther pink. Panther pink. So um, if I'm looking around at the Mopar Happening Show, it's the only Moulin Rouge car. So come on alongside me. First of all, the 70 Cuda is just so iconic, isn't it? And then you take this unique color. Now, you've been invited to a few places that are kind of interesting, how the stripe kind of starts thick and then kind of gives it this motion look towards the back, and AAR's All-American Racer, where the pipe comes out the back. Who are some, some people who've asked you to come to their, to their place with this car? Well, we've been invited to the SEMA show a few years ago in Las Vegas. Chrysler from Detroit picked four cars in the United States. This is one of the four. Now, we did go to that. Uh, we were invited to the Playboy Mansion. <laughs> Come on with me. The Playboy Mansion invites you just because of the color, correct? Yes. yes. How awesome is that? I mean, that's quite the honor, right? Yes, it's a very big honor. My, my car is so unique and so special that the Playboy Mansion asked me to come out. Okay. I had a lot of volunteers that would have taken for me. <laughs> You're married too, right? Yes. Yeah, there's one volunteer who wasn't volunteering, your wife. But, uh, just... Sure, sure, sure. Go ahead, grab something. While you're doing that, I'm just going to grab this tag here. And then let's take a look at the interior. Neil, you can see you just absolutely love this car. This car is like done to perfection. I'm just gonna sit right here and do some of the gauges. The steering wheel that you're leaning on at this moment yeah. is NOS. One of the interesting comments I had years ago when I first took it to one of the earlier shows, the gentleman asked who I had restore the wheel, and I said Chrysler did in 1971 <laughs> because it's an NOS wheel. Oh, I didn't know that, he goes. so. That was one of the things, the four speed shifter handles, NOS, tires, side markers, it just goes on and on and on. And there's your shifter in there like so. Don't worry about it. Got it. And let's uh, let's open the hood. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of judging cars, but from the looks of this car, I'm expecting extremely high points. I mean, it just looks Spectacular. Tell me about this hood now, too. Isn't the hood fiberglass or something? It's fiberglass hood for racing purposes. Fiberglass hood for racing. Let me just get that. And this was really for the Trans Am circuit, right? Exactly. For some of these real small things there, the high def camera will pull those out. We'll get some of the details. But look at the engine bay. And even this overspray. How many miles does this car have on it on the... Uh... Not very many. Okay. It's a trailer queen. That's not what they were made for, but that's what it is. Yeah. And you've had some people interview you with this car, too. Uh, yeah. Be besides me. <laughs> a few years ago, I had a magazine. I've been in numerous magazines, but a magazine editor came up and wanted to take pictures and do yeah. an interview yeah and he said he was going to have a model show up later on <laughs> and we waited around the car yeah and after a while a young lady showed up and she started taking her clothes off oh, in front of the car look out keep it g-rated <laughs> is that right 
Well, she had a bikini on, but it was a little different, you know, for somebody to start taking their clothes yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I've got a great looking car too, but nobody's ever taken their clothes <laughs> off around my car. So I got to set my game up, I guess. Let's start it up. Okay. I'm going to get towards the engine here and get a little exhaust now. getting his keys out. Just beautiful. Stand right next to your car. Turn it back the tires. <laughs> what do you want? It looks just great. Hey, Neil, thanks so much for being on my car story. What a treat. Thank you. Appreciate it.